there's a saying, what happens in California doesn't stay in California. But you know, th that is true for evil, but you know what? It's also true for righteousness. That's right. And, and I believe that what starts in California and s has spread to the country for evil can also do so for righteousness. If God's people in our church will wake up and start to Everyone can do something. Everyone can do something. It's not right for one pregnancy care center to shoulder the burden. It's not right for one church to shoulder the burden. He's called the body of Christ to be the hands and the feet of Jesus. Proverbs 14 and 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. To have a right to do a thing is not all the same as to be right in doing it. When I turn to the end of my Bible, I see that we are victorious. I see that we already have the victory. And we're going to keep on fighting. We're going to keep on fighting. It's time for God's people to come out of the closet about what we believe. And to take a bold stand for godliness. Everyone can do something. Acts 17, 26 tells us this, that God picked the time and the place in which we would live. You had no say where you were going to be born or the time period in which you were going to be born. God decided that for you. But what you must decide in this moment is how you're going to live in that time and in that place. How are you going to live? How will you be remembered? What story will you tell when you get to heaven and you sit around the marriage supper of the Lamb? What will be your testimony that you will give? We have one life to live, church. And when you get tired, keep fighting. And when they call you crazy names, keep fighting. When they tell you you're stupid for standing for life, keep fighting. Somebody shout, wake up!